Hey everyone, this is Puneet back again. And in this video, we're gonna learn about a new function that is called trap calls. So here the calls mean columns. Now, when I enter this function, I will use a simple example to make you understand how this function actually works and what is the use of this function. So when I say wrap calls, in this function, we have three arguments. The first is vector, a wrap count, and pad width. And the first two arguments are required, and the last one is optional. So now in the first argument, I will specify a range that is A1 to A11. And after that, I will enter a random number. But this random number is not just a random number, but this is something that will make this function work. So I will enter three. And now skipping the third argument, I will close the function and I will hit enter. Now, the moment I hit enter, it returns me the same data from A1 to A11, but in four different columns. Now, when I specify three here, it means that how many values I need in a single column. So, when this function restructure the data, it uses this value from here and range from here. And then in the each column, it returns three values and create that many columns based on this wrap count. And let's say if I want to have four values, that is wrap count in each column. And now if I hit enter, it creates three columns where each column has four values. Now what happens is in this range, I have 11 values. And when I create three columns having four values in the each column, the last value is not available. So basically the 11th value finishes here and I don't have any value for the 12th cell. Now to deal with this problem, we have the third argument that is called pad width. So when I enter a black value here, that means I don't want anything in the cell where I don't have any value. And when I hit enter, it gives me a blank cell for the ending value where I don't have value in the original array. So this is one of the best functions to restructure your data without actually copy pasting from here and there. Now here, there's one thing that you need to understand here that when you specify a range in this function, that range needs to be one dimensional. You can see here, the range that we have here is A1 to A11 is in a single column. So if I split this range into two columns and then try to enter the function. I'm going to use the it will return an error. This is the only thing that you need to take care of. Rest, this function will super helpful for you to restructure your data. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool Excel functions, tips and tricks in the coming weeks.